So actually, before as an introduction, I would like to say that I was yesterday when I was talking to Sunil Bhaiya in the room. I told him that uh, I am an observer, so I don't have to share. So I'm not preparing. <laughs> <laughs> but Sunil Bhaiya told that we will definitely pull you. Observer is observer. We'll have you are sharing also. But. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I was thinking like, okay, till today morning itself, morning, I was thinking that I may not be able to share. I may, I may, I may not need to have to share, so I will escape from this. So, when uh, morning, Rajul Bhaiya told like, uh, uh, you and Legima has to share together. Then I was a little bit uh, astonished and scared like what I will share. Then I started writing few points here in this paper. Uh, about the contemplation, what we have done uh, during this process. So, with that background, I'll just uh, go with the introduction. Uh, as you all know, my name is Deepesh and uh, this is my wife, Legima. Uh, uh, we have a daughter, Isha, who is doing her third year engineering in one of the colleges in Cochin, Kerala. And uh, 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 she was associated with UHV in the beginning, in the corona time, and uh, she started uh, volunteering for the PPI and all. And that is how I come to know about what is UHV. But uh, before that itself, uh, I, have was, I was exploring with uh, uh, Advaita because uh, I was somewhat oriented to that. I was doing exploration myself. Uh, within my capacity because we have all these YouTube videos and I was part of this Art of, Liv Art of Living Foundation also and we were doing some volunteering activities as part of that also. <coughs> so when we when she started uh, uh, exploring UHP and uh, uh, doing volunteering then we initially had some uh, what you call differences in opinion about uh, what she was saying. I was saying that UHV is more in the mind uh, space <laughs> rather than Advaita and all those things. Then slowly I was uh, uh, followed to that and Sharad Bhaiya was instrumental in me joining into UHV. Sharad Bhaiya once, okay, so it's going to be a long story. She's warning me that we together have only seven minutes. <laughs> so cutting short, that is how I came to UHV. And uh, followed that, I started volunteering uh, because since I'm not on a full-time job now, uh, and she's on a full-time job, so uh, we st I could contribute uh, for more, more many volunteering activities for USV. And uh, uh, we have a very strong team in Kerala. Also, we can see most of many people here itself, and we have one Priya Didi uh, and uh, Jay Prakash Ji who couldn't join uh, because of very uh, personal reasons. Uh, otherwise, they would have also been here. So, we could, uh, uh, I could work with uh, such a team for coordinating the regional activities uh, in Kerala. We could conduct a family workshop for the people in Kerala where, you know, like uh, her mother, my mother-in-law uh, has participated, my sister has participated, and uh, Sunil Bhaiya's wife has participated. So, we could uh, with a uh, feeling of relationship and with the commitment for the development of the society and the team, we could conduct many activities in Kerala. So, along with that, we could uh, do uh, uh, workshops for the polytechnic students in Kerala in the regional languages. And uh, we got many help and inspiration from uh, Rajul Bhaiya. And by actually, even though he doesn't understand Malayalam, he said, sat throughout the session for the Malayalam sessions. So, what I'm trying to say is that the exploration was going on with the team. And uh, if, I, uh, if I reflect upon the transformation which I have had in few lines, I would say maybe the power of observation has improved considerably a lot. So, which means that the awareness has improved quite a lot. So, that is one thing which I observe even now in the sense like many a times when events are happening outside, I could see the events and I could see what is happening within me also. The feeling, the change, the reflection of the feelings going up and down, all those things I could see. 
so that is one thing which i can uh, visibly uh, maybe uh, note down as uh, uh, as an observation and uh, one more th thing is like uh, <coughs> uh, uh, probably i'll cut short that also so one one thing i can add is like maybe another reflection is i have gone more into silence in the sense like uh, i would uh, before i would uh, uh, my my mind would be commenting about this thing and that thing and all those things regarding people making judgments and all those things those things have lowered and it has become silent not much to talk and whenever it is needed go out and talk to people and do the uh, have physical facility interaction with physical f facilities otherwise be in that more into that silence that is one thing which i would uh, reflect upon and regarding the commitments i would say uh, already we i uh, I, I i have been associated with a lot of uh, you, uh, programs including the latest one is an audio book which we are going to release already like uh, uh, ninth chapter has been released in the youtube myself and uh, aprajita didi is contributing for that and apart from that all these uh, regional meetings university coordinating coordinator meetings all those things i'm volunteering and i would say my commitment is like i'm available i i would like my availability open for the calls of rajul bhaiya jitendra bhaiya or sunil bhaiya anytime available for their calls that's what my commitment is thank you i will hand over to okay namaste to all um, as introduced myself legima uh, working as assistant professor in uh, college of engineering chertala in alappura district in kerala mm, yeah i was associated with uhv from uh, 2020 i did some volunteering also uh, i took the decision to be a volunteer uh, i myself decided nobody compelled me i decided that uh, but um, once the after covid when the colleges reopened i stopped volunteering and now i am back i have decided to continue volunteering uh, but um, uh, i was on leave for some few days a few 3 months so i've got this opportunity to be here at uh for uhv3 so um, according to this uh, exploration um, uh, what my i have understood is that self is central to existence that is uh, something very um, something i should remember every time that is self is central to existence and body is used an instrument as and when required uh, because um, because i am having this problem no um, of this uh, uh, going unconscious so um, i was before coming here also i was having a disharmony in he me that um, bodies is because of age it is a material unit but we don't usually remember that it will it will have its own uh, problems but we always associate even though we uh, for uh, uh, we know the proposal self is a body is a co coexistence of self and body but when it comes to ourselves we are fully associated with the body if, in, if there is a an ail ailment we get this uh, get out of disharmony get out of uh, harmony and uh, all those we enjoyed we enjoyed for good food and all we could eat that all we have to restrict and all that gives a disharmony in me, was giving a disharmony in me so this 8 days was actually um, theory plus practical sessions for me because i went through the same situation uh, same um, um means because of that stomach upset and all uh, and when that day sukumar sambhav ji told us to go do the imagination um so that was in the first that are, that is in the step one we are observing our imagination and um um actually during imagination we should not react and that to first sentence was that you don't have to close your eyes can be in any position but my assumption i was that you when you have to imagine you have to close your eyes so when i close my eyes um i uh, when you imagine it you don't have to react also that also i it, it was not in mind so when i felt a discomfort in my body i took the react uh, decision that i have to go out 
so all those things i was observing and so and when i went outside there was nobody because it was sunday and all those things that usually uh, happen when that's a very small incident when someone peer, um gives an injection and same example is given in here to um, to explain self and body what is the response recognizing and fulfilling and the other one is knowing or assuming but the self so uh, this is a simple incident that may be a simple example for all of you for for me this is something big why do i why only i uh, fall like that so i used to, i used to feel very bad for that so then uh, but now i uh, i understand that i don't know i am clear on that i uh, uh, when the uh, body gives some signals like that um i lost my awareness i feel i felt bad because i lost my consciousness i so i think i should be and then after that um after uh, i thank all those people all those uh, dr munalini and all who who came there and uh, took me and directly i got entry to icu <laughs> and i was i usually have that fear also and that all that has gone now uh, now i am comfortable and uh, after the coming discharging also um, um when i get up from one place to the uh, um, change my position um i was feeling that everything is uh, rotating like that but uh, when i got awareness i said hey this is just a body you can like we uh, support the other person no like that if you tell to uh, myself itself you can then it's okay nothing happens so that i was able to experience so i have to tell to myself you can so that is something very uh, achievement for me so um yes one more minute one more minute so um mm, so this exercise 1 and 2 is very very important uh, uh, so that you can awaken your higher activities of the self uh, then um commitment um attend morning sessions uh, read the book on holistic health and observe your imaginations then uh, role in uh, human education um um to uh, to get the more clarity i have to give demo sessions in kerala chapter and uh, this time the university has included uhp classes for first year students we don't know the syllabus and all uh, but i will take the uh, opportunity to teach the students and commitment is volunteering nothing else